Discover Ancient Peru with Museo Larco. Lima. Since when has the city of Lima been a cultural meeting place? This is Lima, a historic and millenary city, a place of encounters, a city of all bloods, where Peruvians from different regions live together, enriching it with a great diversity of customs and traditions. Today, contemporary Lima is a sprawling, bustling metropolis that spans the valleys of the Chillon, Rimac, and Lurin rivers. Surrounded by great apus or protective mountains, often covered by fog, and oblivion, Lima tells us its millenary history through its huacas, which still claim their place in many of the city's neighborhoods. In the current urban layout, marking the route of some streets and avenues, we can still find evidence of the extensive network of irrigation canals and irrigation ditches, such as those of Ate, Surco, Huatica and Maranga, built almost 1,500 years ago. These veins of Lima made it possible to sustain agricultural production in these valleys, and today they continue to feed the lungs of the city. At the edge of the ravine, the waters of the Huatica Canal, converted into streams, reach the Pacific Ocean, an inexhaustible source of resources and inspiration for the ancient inhabitants of Lima. The sea also became an opportunity to explore routes to distant lands, sailing in Totora reed boats, which allowed exotic resources, such as the spondylus shell, to be brought from the warm waters of the north. On the central coast, the influence of neighboring societies was expressed through art. Shapes, designs, and the use of different colors revealed contacts with the Nazca culture to the south and Viru to the north. On the other hand, the high areas of the valleys, with their favorable climate for coca and chili pepper production, were the gateway for groups of shepherds who would bring their livestock down from the neighboring high areas to the coastal hills. Likewise, after worshiping the snow-capped Apu Pariacaca in the heights of Huarochiri, the pilgrims would descend to the sanctuary of the god Pachacamac in the Lurin Valley, the scene of surprising myths at the edge of the sea. As the seat of a prestigious oracle, Pachacamac received pilgrims coming from distant regions, bringing their prayers and offerings. The Incas, recognizing its importance, made the sanctuary the residence of the setting sun, thus integrating the central coast into their growing empire. More than five centuries have passed, and pre-Hispanic Lima has been partially covered by cement and asphalt. However, day by day, as it continues to grow, many of its secrets come to light, reminding us that we occupy a land that others have already inhabited and on which today we continue to build our own history in coexistence with a great diversity. <laughs>